Good afternoon and welcome to episode 714, 714, 714, depending you say it. Uh, topic today is when swiping and dating, what do you trust? This is something interesting. Um, actually, it's something that came up in the conversation. Somebody asked me to comment on their post, which is what I want to get to later on. But let me start with this and say, hi, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my broadcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> This, um, I am, I, <clears throat> let me start over. Hi, I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and I have a lot of fun doing these talks, um, and a passionate champion of the divine feminine. I'm also a relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. Because of my passion in supporting women in their feminine, it's also what inspired these talks I started over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart. And I make it MFTM for abbreviation, but that's where it came from. This is my daily broadcast I do, by the way, at 5 p.m. Pacific time on Facebook Live. It goes onto YouTube as well, so I'll give the links to those at the back end of the broadcast. And the topic today, or should I say the episode number today, is up to, not to, we're up to number 714. And the topic today is when swiping and dating, what do you trust? And where do I want to begin? Hmm, where do I want to begin? This is an interesting topic, because the thing is, in some ways, dating feels like a crapshoot. Like you're basically going to take your best shot and hope for the best and see what happens. But sometimes, actually more often than not, you get clues, you get hints, you get neon signs and billboards sometimes, but sometimes they're more subtle, about what is lined up, what isn't lined up. You know, I, I've had um, experiences where I met somebody, not for dating actually, but for business, where I almost saw neon signs over the head pointing them saying, go talk to this person. I didn't ignore those signs. Other cases I know have ignored things and realized later I should have done something. So to have this range of indicators show up in your life is a great thing. But here's the, here's the well, no, I'll get to that one in a bit. I'll get to this a little bit later, okay. <laughs> I'm getting to solutions too fast. Let me start at the beginning. Sometimes when you're on the dating apps and you're in the messaging phase after you've met somebody on the dating app, you both swipe right and you haven't gone out yet, where the Communication, communication by text it can be very intriguing and very interesting. Let's just say, excuse me, and my allergies are playing up and my eyes are itching, so excuse me for that for a second. So sometimes in the act of communication by texting or messaging back and forward, they reveal who they really are very quickly. Maybe it's because they won't shut up talking about themselves, or maybe because they offer things you don't really want, or maybe because they make assumptions about you, excuse me, Ching again, that basically you ignore thinking, oh, that's not who they are. There's something more than that. You ignore sometimes the most obvious indications that perhaps it's not what you want. On the other side of the spectrum, the person who is on the other end is asking about you and wants to find out more about who you are. And you don't recognize how good that is because maybe you're not used to that. So there's lots of little indicators we have out there, a, a spectrum, so to speak, a range of indicators, signs, and hints, I'll put this heading, to let us know when we're on track or off track. And as I said, sometimes they're neon signs and billboards, and sometimes they're just little like feathers landing on the ground. They're so subtle. But OK, it keeps coming up, so I'm going to talk about it. One of the things about this sensory apparatus, apparatus we have in our awareness which I'll talk more about in a moment, is actually, uh, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm getting things thrown at me into it internally, and I'm trying to get to the truth of what I want to say. So we have a range of intuition, intuitive gifts. And I'm saying intuitive gifts as a multiple because sometimes we get downloads through our mind and awareness, we become like we see pictures or we hear things and go, whoa, hang on a second. Sometimes it's a heartfelt response to something. Sometimes it's your stomach, your solar plexus, your gut instinct telling you something, all three of those can be intuitive. But also sometimes you'll see things in the world that can be very um, blatant, or blatant, I was looking at the opposite of subtle, blatant in the fact that you'll see something that goes so obvious. Like I might be driving by, going to a date, and you'll see a billboard for something else and it says, um, have a great time today. Like there'll be messages literally in black and white in front of you or in color sometimes that are telling you what's gonna happen. That's also plugged into your awareness when you think about it. Now, 
the police keep pulling off and drop in, is all of that sort of awareness, all of it is, um, how do I say this, Resp is more responsive the more that you trust it, the more you invite it, and the more you listen and watch for it. This sort of feedback that comes from the universe around you, from the environment around you, is powerful indications of what lines up for you. It could be the fact you need to talk to somebody else and get their feedback. That's what happened earlier today with a friend of mine who posted something and asked for my input. But the reality was she already knew it. I was simply confirming what she'd already suspected. So I like being the encourager. I like to be the resource people come to. But also we all have these gifts and we all know, but sometimes ignore, when the radar is off, when the indicator about somebody we meet is so clearly not going to line up. But for some people, we ignore it anyway. We go, no, 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 I don't believe it. I'm, I'm trusting it can be okay. Maybe, maybe not. It's important that you recognize that your internal um, signaling system, for want of a better word or phrase, is extremely accurate when you trust it. Now, this is the thing. Oftentimes, when you're in life, you may be um, given insight and input from some signaling system inside or some indicator in the world, and you go, no, 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 that's not true. The more you deny it, the more you say no to it, the less it would start serving you. So this indication, this reminder, this, this nudge, this clue is to inform you that you have this gift that if you encourage it, if you invite it, if you become friends with that indicator, that intuition, that still small voice, whatever you want to call it, inside of you, the more you become friends with it, the more you listen to it, the more you take action based upon it that shows that it's being listened to, the more encouragement you're providing, which means you're going to have more accurate, more frequent and more effective feedback. Of course, what I'm talking about now is way beyond just relationship and dating. This is a life skill, by the way. But in the dating arena especially, we like to think we know what we're doing, <laughs> which is one of the biggest jokes. Sorry, maybe it's just my life, maybe not yours, maybe it's just mine. The reality is there's much more going on than we know. Obviously, for one thing, there's another person involved, so their stuff is going on as well. It's not just us, so be aware of that as well. But the biggest piece I want to say here is that you're one of your biggest self-care skills, one of your biggest self-supportive gifts is to listen to your own intuition. And again, that intuition can be as subtle as a feather dropping on the ground, or it could be neon signs, trumpets, and fanfares, and a billboard right in front of you. Literally sometimes. Intuition shows up in many different ways. But the reality is when you see a sign and you respond to it, however small or big it is, again on the spectrum, the more you respond to it, the more they become clear to you. And sometimes you actually learn that the subtler ones are more effective because you don't have to be suddenly startled out of your, you know, out of your awareness because you didn't see the sign coming. But literally, I know I've seen some. I've heard stories, and I think I've, I've seen a couple myself where I've been going somewhere and saw a sign up on the wall, like it was like either a sign on a wall at a building, or as opposed to for some show on a on a, um, on a on a wall somewhere, or it was a billboard. Right? I saw what was written. I went, "Oh, thank you for the clue." So having that responsiveness, awareness, again, noticing what's around you, can be massively supportive of where you're going in your life. But most people, I would suggest. Ignore that. They'd rather either believe what they're told, hold for the highest possibility of, of success, which may be, may be irrational and maybe not even reality-based. That's a different topic in a way because I can get into that in another conversation. But the truth is when you align with your truth inside, you know when you're online for success. But you don't trust it most of the time, if you're like most people. So my encouragement and my reminder in, in this, this little chat is that we all have this internal radar, this internal sensitivity, this internal intuition to guide ourselves wherever we go in our lives. Again, it's not just relationship centric or dating. It's also true of other areas of life too. You know when you feel trepidation about something you're going into where you know it's not a good thing. Some of those trepidation is a good thing, but you know when it's going to be something you like excitement or fear and you know that it's really the right one. Because sometimes there's a, a confusion between um, fear and excitement because it's just energetics where we just react to something without knowing what it is. It's like having trust into stepping into a new situation. At the same time, again, when we listen, when we plug in, when we tune in, when we connect to that intuition inside, we become extremely aligned to where we want to go. And the thing about this is, 
you can ask questions of your environment, your universe, your world, so to speak, and get answers back that you really need to hear. This is, a, this is an advanced skill, by the way, because a lot of people don't do this. But when you do start to ask questions, like if you want to say go on a dating app, going back to the original idea, and you're swiping right on somebody and you start having communication with them, you're feeling your gut right away. You will feel it if you listen to it. Key things listening. The awareness of that does or doesn't line up. That something's off or something's like really good. Your mind might be convincing, and this is the thing, by the way, our mind likes to think it's in charge, which is one of the biggest jokes of all, so to speak. It's really a deeper place inside, heart, gut, instinctual, that is so much more resonant with what's happening than our mind could ever be. The mind's a great servant, not a great master. So when we let, allow a deeper sense to rise up, to guide us, to inspire us, and to give us clarity, we can then take action based upon that. But it does require, it does require some um, willingness, practice, and awareness. A willingness, awareness, and practice. Yeah, willingness, and awareness. So that's WAP, that's your abbreviation, W-A-P, that's your abbreviation for the day. Willingness, awareness, and practice. Those three things will give you a chance to redevelop and build up your own ability to sense this stuff called life, to feel into the truth of what lines up. And when it comes to dating especially, you can let that guide you more effectively than your mind can ever do. You may be pining for something in a relationship. You may be wishing for something in a relationship. That's all from up here. When you trust internally, it can line up and then you can have what you really want. But it does take practice. Again, willingness, awareness, practice. Those three skills together can allow you to develop the intuition, the wisdom, the insight, and the guidance so you know how to take your right action the right time, the right way. This is advanced living, by the way. Um, I think that's really the point I wanted to make. <laughs> um, something I'm... Oh, okay, yeah. That is in there, isn't it? Okay, sorry, I'm just having a chat with myself. I'll be right with you in a moment. Um, <laughs> it makes sense. Okay, so... I'm back with you. Sorry, I was just having a little side chat there inside. There's nobody else here, just me, just in case you want I'm schizophrenic. <laughs> but I do have a conversation sometimes with a higher aspect of myself. I've shared before about the course that I created, or the new online group course that I created called Coming Home to Yourself. And I'm realizing more and more this is part of that. Because the more we become aligned to ourselves, the more we trust ourselves and support ourselves, the more connected we become to the wisdom inside that we have. So I'm not going to tell you anything else. I'm going to put the link in the comments. You can check it out for yourself. It's a pay what you want course that I've created. There's a group program that's launching very soon as soon as I get enough people to come, come together to do it. And it will be inspiring you in so many ways like this to transform your life, to be one led from internal guidance, higher perspective, and more support for yourself than you've ever had before. Okay, stop. I'm marking you too much. But this skill can help you. So I hope you practice again. Willingness, awareness, practice. Track to those three things for your internal guidance systems and you'll be way better off than you were before. Um, and that's it. I really want to just put this out there as a quick topic. I appreciate you watching. This is one of my daily broadcasts, again, episode 714. Um, I think that's really about it. If you haven't seen a broadcast before, by the way, I do this every day on Facebook Live at 5 p.m. Pacific time, usually. It was kind of close today. I had to dash around with some errands. Um, you can find me on Facebook under Barry Selby. That's where you find me for my personal page. The replays are on my business page, which is Barry Selby, the author on Facebook. They're also on my YouTube channel, which is also Barry Selby. Please subscribe to that. And on there, on the playlist called Messages for the Masculine, you can watch all of these broadcasts out there. Again, I'll put the link in the comments for Coming Home, coming home to Yourself, my new course, which will really align with this. If this resonates for you, check it out. And if you have any questions, thoughts about this, please put them below and respond when I sign off. If you're out there dating, take the time to listen to your intuition. It will support you, guide you, lead you the right way. You've got to be willing to, though. With that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. Take care of yourself.